So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Yandere Simulator. Now there has been a brand new update guys and this is a brand new technically an elimination method. And oh boy, I can't wait to cut some people up. Oh yeah! But in fact, for this update, we don't have to kill no one. That's right, guys, you heard me correct. This update could technically be kill-free. I know, shock and horror. I'm probably not actually gonna kill anyone as well because this update is very, very technical and I feel like if I mess up on the slightest thing, it's gonna cause catastrophic effects. And we never want those, do we? At least a normal person wouldn't. <laughs> this introduces a new way to eliminate Kokona, because of course we know from the conversation they have in the room where we can like do the Ron Shaku loans thing in the past few updates, we know she has a liking to Senpai. That's always been kind of a problem for Yandere because we know she also likes him. Technically, this means we can win to an extent. If no one likes Senpai, then it's just left really to us. And that's technically, I mean, I guess that's the whole concept of this game. But anyway, guys, this might be a long episode and it's going to be freaking technical. Let's get straight into this and let's see how we can do. So initially upon entering the school as well, guys, you can see everything has been changed again. It appears that now the entrance has reverted back to a totally new layout. I think I have seen this one before. Whoa, 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 what? Um... Excuse me? What, 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 what does that mean? No, I must. <laughs> Hold on, let me just go into that. What is that all about, dude? Okay, well, that's another new thing. Apparently, we've got the static, which prevents us from going home. Damn static. But the school layout also around the sides looks totally different. And there's also a little bit of a bug right now. You see, you can't talk to people. The solution I actually found was you have to actually pick up a weapon, then you drop it, and then all of a sudden, you can talk to people. Hey, but we seem to have, like, this little water monument just over in this corner here. Things are starting to shape up a little bit better as well. We can head over to the other side as well. Let's just teleport over there. And I guess over here, it's the same thing for now with a few benches. So the first thing we're going to have to do, guys, to find out who could not actually likes is monitor the guys in the actual gardening area. Oh, gardening area, kind of like the conservatory where they all kind of chat. So let's begin by just analyzing upon the surface. We can walk through it, we can learn new topics, and also a heck ton of opinions. Yeah, that, uh, Okay, these people are very opinionated in this school. Let's try and learn some more. We can learn a heck ton more as well. <laughs> so the first thing we've actually got to do is we're going to go over and talk to Kokona and we actually have to get her to follow us. And at the minute, I don't think we actually can. So we can talk to Kokona again and we can ask her a favor. And of course, we want her to follow us. What we initially have to do, guys, is walk her around the school and try and find what she likes about maybe the characteristics of some of the boys in this school so we can get her off Senpai's back. So initially, you have to walk around all the different rooms. Let's try her in the drama club. I mean, there's not really much to like in here. Uh, unless you like a, a kind of dead, soulless, monochromatic being. Uh, let's get out of here. All right, so into the occult room you go. You can see she's got some, like, opinions and things like that. Aha, I see. I was thinking to myself, like, she had the love hearts appearing over her head at all times just then. Now she's actually not, which is interesting. So if we walk her around, I walk her over to this guy here. You can see the little red cheeks that really appear. I think that tells us she likes some characteristics about this guy. Now, I have already watched the Android Dev video, guys, and what she likes about this guy is the fact that he is wearing those wonderful glasses right there. We're going to have to definitely bear that in mind when we're trying to pair up this guy with Kona. We don't even know who this guy is just yet. That's one thing we're still going to have to learn. For now, we're just going to have to keep continually walking around all of the different places and just learning the different stuff. We know she likes cooking because we've seen her in there and sometimes after school. In after school. Okay, then. I think the main thing we're looking for here is more people as opposed to, like, rooms and stuff because when you go in a room, she doesn't really show much of an... Whoa, kind of look like a zombie there. <laughs> so we can walk over to the different guys. You can see... no, nope, no affection just there. Nope, still nothing. We can walk her over here. We're just looking for the blushing, really. Nope, she doesn't really give a... That's one thing. Sociology is bare. They don't even study it here. Or if they do, they just go in there and have to imagine that they're studying. It's a great school, this one. And that just about covers the second floor. So we've got to go up one more flight of stairs. And I think there may be a few people situated in the clubs. Let's try the computer lab. We're learning a heck ton of topics, so that's one thing. So in we come. That makes me jump every single God, that just comes out of absolute nowhere. There's like no draw distance for the sound. Look, you see? <laughs> She's not interested in anything in here either. Let's head on in the library now. There is a dude up. Oh, okay. Looks like her interest is elsewhere. What do you like about this guy, huh? What's so special about him? What's he doing? Studying? She likes that studying, dude. And then there's also a guy reading the books. And again, she likes these people who study, man. I think that's safe to say. But then again, her face has just now dropped. Now it's came back. Okay, Kokona's got a liking to this dude, too. What actually is about these two guys is she does like people that seem to have a lot of wisdom up in here. The strength lies up here, not in here. And also, <laughs> she likes the slick back hair on this dude as well. That's two more characteristics we can definitely take a note of on my hand right here. And I guess now we should probably head back down to the courtyard. I think that's what it's actually called. And we should see if there's any other boys around here who Kokona actually takes a liking to because that will be very interesting. And it'll also give 
give us a little bit more guidance on how we can get the max points because we're going to take Kakona and the other dude over to like a tree or something. And the more things we can like build a connection with, the more of a multiplier we can actually gain. And we definitely need to do that. So you can see where the eye line is being matched to. So he's checking out this dude here. Okay, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. So it looks like it's this guy with the purple hair because no one else has purple hair. And I mean, she's not looking at that. We'll just double check. Yep, she is. She's checking out his hair. None of the other dudes have the purple hair in here. So I think that's got to be the characteristic. I think I saw it again. Yep. Okay, so this must be the dude who possesses. Yes, he's got the earring all right. So she likes the earring and also the purple hair. So that is five things so far. And I actually think that's all of the things we need to make a note of. So now the next step actually lies at the end of the day. It's now 3.30. And now we're going to see Kokona go and do her interests at the school. That is, of course, the cooking club. And what we're looking for is anyone who seems to have some kind of interest to her. You might be portraying some strange characteristics. Maybe uh, virgin on creepy. I'm going to say that. But if he actually hints to us that he likes Kokona, we know which one of the boys is interested. Cooking club, where are you at? We've just got to locate this. Aha, we have found it now. So what I'm actually going to do for now is I'm just going to chill right back here. So Kokona has now came in the room. We learned an opinion, apparently. And we also learned that, uh, wow, that was, un that was unusual. But hang on a sec. I can see an arm and what looks to be some hair peering around the corner. Let's go outside a second, so... Oh, it appears we may have a match. And she actually likes something about this dude. I think it may have been the hairstyle he's like in Kokona. And I can imagine the connection is probably being made because of the both having purple hair color. So let's just uh, shut the doors on this guy, stop him creeping on her. And let's talk to this guy. I mean, what's going on here? What's uh, what's the deal? I saw the most peculiar thing today. Hold on a second. There was a kitten walking around the school. Okay. I'm not sure how it got in here. Right. It's quite an adorable little creature. I wish I could get a second look at it. Oh, if so... If you see that kitten anywhere, would you mind taking a picture of it for me? Okay. This task is for this dude here, and this task is about getting a picture of the adorable little kitten. Riku Soma wants a photograph of the elusive kitten that he spotted somewhere on the school grounds. Take a picture of the kitten, save it, and show it to him. Will you accept this task? Of it's course. to find someone else who shares my appreciation for felines. <laughs> Best of luck to you. I love how they had to make him overly British. You know what I mean? So polite, even though he's being such a creep. I find that's a weird connection. Like, the creepy British guy, he sounds really posh. He's actually really strange deep down, and you probably shouldn't associate with him. The kitten is actually right here. I remember seeing this being put in place. And also, check this out, guys. If I crouch now, I have the sensitive job done for me. Yandere Dev, thank you so much for that. That was always a nightmare and added like an hour or two on. Here's the cute little adorable kitten. Let's just crouch down to its level. I mean, check how cute this little guy is. He is adorable, isn't he? Let's snap a nice picture of him. And what we're going to do is we're going to save that picture. We have learned a new topic. I can imagine that probably hints towards us actually getting the right picture. Where did the dude go? Uh, bro, where, where you at? Uh, and I think it's safe to say that he, uh... He kind of ditched us there. Uh, I mean, the yes, task... That's it. That's the kitten I saw. That's it? Hmm. It appears to be in good health. How delightful. How delightful indeed. Okay, so task is now complete. Hell yeah, that's a good sign. And this is on the Monday before school, so this gives us even some more time. So now if we talk to this guy, we can talk about his love. Aha. And then we can, of course, talk to him about Kakona Haruka. So let's just do that now. Do you have a crush on this student? Oh, can you tell? Yeah, I, uh, I have a crush on her. Okay, so now that the task is actually completed, the next step in the list, guys, is to now go and visit Info Channel. You know, do the little dealio that we usually do. <laughs> Let's not talk about how we actually get the items, though. But what we actually need from her is not the eye patch on my face. We actually need to get a headset from her because I think how this is now going to work is that, for example, we actually put the headset on him, we wear one ourselves, and we have to tell him things to say as we learn them. Because, of course, we know things about Kakona. And he doesn't, man. He's just this friggin' weird, creepy guy that stalks her at the minute. So here we go into our phone. We then go onto the favors, I believe. We can ask for a drop, and we can see the headset right there. There we go. The headphones should theoretically drop straight on the floor right there. And if they're not broken, I'll be damned. We go and talk to him. We then go over to the love tab. But we can alter his appearance, which is probably a good thing we need to do right now, because we learned the various traits about what Kakona is looking for. So let's get ahead and do that now. So the first one on the top list is definitely a tick, and that is going to be the slick back hair. She does like the piercings too. And I think the third one was the glass I actually think altering those three things alone should be plentiful. So now if we actually confirm that, 
this is what she's attracted to. We're actually giving the insight to the dude, and there we go. That means by tomorrow, technically, he should change his appearance. So you know what? Let's end this day, and let's check it out. So it is now Tuesday, and hey, check it out. I think he actually took our advice. Yep, he did all right. <laughs> so that is the new appearance of apparently who Kokona is going to now see as Senpai. What we got to do, guys, is actually complete this task again for Kokona to also gain her trust. We've done the picture of the cat so far, and we can start the day from Monday as well, making sure we can definitely try and get all these things done. But what we have to now do is get, I think it's the uniform from Info Chat. Then we take it to like the sewing area. We have to restitch it back up, give it back to her, and that's how we gain her trust. So let's just talk then, and then with the task. Yeah! This uniform is tailored to my exact measurements. Of course it would be. Now I'll finally be comfortable. Yes! Thank you so much. Awesome. So with that done now, there we go. Task complete. Yes. We should have the new menu unlocked also for Kokona. Let's actually try this. So if we talk to Kokona, yes, there it is. We don't... Oh, hang on a sec. We do actually have it. So... There we go. Someone wants to meet you at the East Fountain. I think they're your type. Okay, I'll go there right now. So we, hopefully the telephone call that she usually gets won't interrupt this as well. Right, let's also send this guy over to the court and hopefully things will actually work out. So she's at the East Fountain. Take this earpiece and go there. I'll give you advice. Already I'll head there right away then. Okay, right. So now we're going to make our own way there. We're actually going to go the back way so they don't expect anything and see a third person coming along because I think that's when the alarm bells start to ring for certain people. So both of them are there and we can assist the suitor. So let's do this. Here we go. All right, we can see her appearing around the corner with the headset on. And I think, if I'm correct, this now goes... Oh, is he looking... Oh, he's... Got... Well, you should have already done that before. I mean, oh, at least she's got the back to him. Okay. So then we go into his kind of... Per... This is cool. So we've got the maximum multiplier times five there. I think we can use each of these different menus on the side. The negative remark isn't referring to her. We can actually talk about anything. So I think she doesn't like this. I think I saw that. So I agree with you. Hey, so that's a really good start. Okay, there's the first point. Now let's go down to the positive remark and let's see. So what does she like? She likes cooking. That is a definite. So there we go. We definitely have the same opinion. Yes. So this is going good so far. Almost too good. I think this is the best one. You think so? Nobody's ever called me that before. We can then also show off apparently. So what we actually know is that she is into people who like studying. So we can demonstrate our wisdom. Uh, you already told me about that. Uh, I did. So then we can give her a gift, which we don't have in her inventory. Okay, we're gonna have to finish that. So that was a uh, that was a bit of an abrupt buy after she kind of shot us down. It's kind of like, okay, here have, whoops, uh, oh boy. So that could have gone a little bit better. <laughs> I think Yandere looks a little bit angry because yeah, that could have gone much better. He should have handled that a little bit more precise. But what we didn't do is pick the rose from just over here. We can pick these roses right here. So let's actually pick one ahead of time now. There we go. And we have to take this dude up to do his studying from day to day. So we bring this guy up to the library and that is a book right here. So boost suitor intelligence. So if we do this, it appears that there's going to be another cutscene. So this is where Yandere is teaching him. Yandere Chan helps Riku Soma study. Riku Soma's intelligence stat increases. That's a good thing as well. Absolutely perfect. Let's exit back out of that. We gotta do that, I think, every single day as well. Just before we go and visit Kokona by the tree, just so we can teach her something new every day about some kind of wisdom. I think it's about time we probably skip to the next day and let's see how things go. So, what are we gonna be learning about today? <clears throat> what were you gonna say? Uh, manipulation of the, the brain. Well, that sounds fun. Let's get to it. This time, I'm definitely doing this firstly, and we're gonna help him study. There we go. He's learned a lot about man manipulation. Not murder. But man, this process takes a long time to even just get up to this point and set these two up every single day. I mean, we should really be asking about this sort of stuff. So, uh, maybe a positive remark. We don't want to make a positive remark about violence. Maybe about cats. Uh, we definitely have the same opinion. So, yes, that's one good thing. All right, let's demonstrate some more wisdom. So, while well, you're very well informed, and let's kindly give her the gift of the rose. So, that boosted that up a lot by the looks of things. So, there we go. A rose. I love these. I can't get enough of them. Fantastic. So, I mean, that one was okay. It could have been a lot worse. It's nice to see you again. Hey, that's a pretty good start. So we've got to go to the negative remark first. Let's think what might Kokona not like. Maybe science, photography, martial arts. She likes photography because she does pose for the picture. So maybe that's one thing. Uh, I don't know if she doesn't really like school. I, I'm not really sure on that one. Reading. I guess she would like reading because, I mean, she likes people that study. So oh, perhaps maybe she, I mean, I could make, oh, that was the negative remark towards reading. Okay, I meant for that to be the other way. 
Ah, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> hmm, a positive remark towards, let's think, maybe school? Um, again, I have no idea how to judge these. Octo dogs are great. She does make these as well. Really, you like them? I'm happy to hear that. I was afraid to say they were considered childish. No, I, I think they're pretty damn cool. Let's do some more wisdom again. Whoa, you must be an expert on this subject, and we can't give a gift. This is kind of disastrous, I'm going to be honest. Like, oh, oh, we can? Okay, so I don't need to give him the gift of a rose every single day. It seems like once we give it just the one time for now, he seems to be able to remember that and almost like go and get that. I mean, the bar's like halfway. I think we need to get all this done though before Friday. The only other solution is to be extremely precise with all the other answers we do on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But I mean, until that point, we're just gonna hope, man. So what are we learning about today? Uh, I don't know, just, just read the book. Th this is a dictionary. Learn new words then. Uh, okay, don't mess up this time. I'm counting on you, okay. Let's put the earpiece in the right here this time. I <sighs> should do it. Hopefully I can hear Yan Chan better this time. Now, the first thing we've got to start with is a negative remark towards something she does not like. I don't think she'll be a fan of violence. You took the words right out of my mouth. So yes, that is one point. Can we make this a full house? What might Kakona like? Let's say that. So, um, she doesn't like photography even though she likes- Okay, we've got to think of some more remarks. So, twin drills. That's what I should have said. There we go. Oh, you think so? I'm glad you feel that way. I wasn't sure if they were silly. No, 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 they're pretty cool, man. They're pretty cool. We can then show off more of our wisdom. You should be a professor and teach a class about this. And now all of a sudden the rose isn't there? I mean, the other day it was? That's so confusing. It was like, it was there one day and then it's like not the next, even though I didn't actually pick it and give it to the dude. But there we go. Thanks for taking the time to speak to me. Not a problem again. Man, this process is difficult. This this is really, really tricky. So what are we learning about- I'm just sitting here to look cool, okay? Stop asking me what to do. Uh, okay. C cool? Jeez. So start with the negative remark. I have zero idea. I mean, we should probably like memes, uh, anime, this cosplay. I literally have no idea. I'm gonna say that. I'm glad we see eye to eye on that subject. So she does not like video games. So that's one thing we've now learned. What might she like? She might like memes. She might like art. She might like anime or cosplay. She's a fan of the cooking club. Let's try it. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. We can compliment her and we can say, I mean, Saki Miu looks nice or seems nice. That one's probably the better one. She is. She's my best friend and I cherish our friendship. Saying the other one would be a little bit awkward. I guess we can keep showing off with the wisdom every day. That might be the way we can do this and also giving her the gift. Because look how close that bar is right there. I think all we'd need to do is at least show her some wisdom and at least give her the gift. And I think we should have this one in the bag. I mean, look how blushed her cheeks are. She looks like she's really starting to get to know this guy. And I think there's a connection building here, which means deeply. She thinks that there's something good coming out of this. Deep down, we just don't want to kill her. We just want a senpai for us. And we don't want to have to murder anyone in the process. All right, Riku. It's your big day. Don't mess this one up, okay? You've got one chance of this, and I don't want to see you make a muck up of this. Yeah, I, I got this. I think. So what are we learning about? Just Can we just go? I, I can't be bothered to learn. I'm running into walls, goddammit. That's how much I care about library stuff. Jeez. Stop asking me about it, man. Okay. I didn't realize it was that much of a pain for you. I can do it myself. No, let's just go. Fine. Here he comes. All right, and those two are now waiting at the tree, so we can assist again. This is it, man. Can I do this? I hope I can. I'm really concerned that I'm gonna answer the negative and positive remarks wrong. I wanna say that. Every time I've tried cupcakes, they've ruined it somehow. Oh man, we can show off at least our wisdom. Look how close that bar is. And we don't have a gift. We have the gift. How does he have the gift? I didn't even pick up a rose and give him one. I mean, it's just fate, right? Let's do it, man. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Thanks. It's just, it has to be fate. I mean, we've got the bar full, dude. So now we can finish. Here we go. Oh, you have to go. Oh, that's too bad. I would really love to spend more time with you. The last thing now we got to do is wait until Friday after school. And let's hope, let's hope Kakona with the voice crack is going to want to meet Riku and not Senpai because that's the only reason why we've done all this to protect the person we love. Okay, guys, after school Friday. Hopefully now she puts the love letter on Riku's locker. All we can do right now is observe and hope that all of the efforts we've gone to to prevent this from happening has been enough. Oh man, a lot of time later, there's been no letter on the locker for Yandere. I think she's starting to doubt all the work she's put in. Was it enough? 5, 18 p.m. Still nothing. But wait, hold on. I see Kakona emerging. All right, her back is to us now. Where will she go? This is the big moment, guys. Hold on a sec, look at her, she's blushing. This is big. Hold on a sec, she's looking left and right. She's got a letter. She's put it in the locker. Oh my goodness, she's running off. Has it been a success now? We gotta wait to see if the dude Riku, man. My man, have you done this? Has it been enough? Here he comes. And hold on a sec, where's he going? Riku, dude, you haven't even checked the letter, man. Where, where are you going? He's reading it. He sees it. 
He sees what Kokona has asked him to do. But is he going to follow? I mean, all these valiant efforts, I think it might just be enough. He's put it... He's running! I think we've done it, guys. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Let's run as well. Let's follow these dudes. Look how happy he is. I think we've done it. We've successfully completed this. Man, we haven't had to kill a single person yet. And he is running over to the cherry tree. I believe it's that tree just up there. Here we go. Kokona meets Riku under the Sakuru tree. This is so cool, man. Kokona confesses that she has developed deep feelings for him. Riku tells Kokona that he feels the same way about her. Kokona and Riku share a tender kiss. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> yeah, dude! So that's it! We've built the connection between the two. I mean, what more is there to do? You can see those little lovebirds just under the Sakura tree right there. Look how happy they are. We can now talk to them. Or not. She's gonna blank us now. We did all that for you, Riku. And all you give us is the cold shot. You're a cold-hearted man. Kokona has no idea. Should I just tell him that? No, no, no. We got him so far. And deep down, we know why we did this, man. She no longer likes Senpai. Which means... Technically, he's ours. So I think technically, I mean, when you think about the core message behind this whole scenario, can we win Yandere Simulator by doing this? Is this temporarily like winning Yandere Simulator? Kind of leaves it on the, by the looks of things on a bit of a cliffhanger. You know what? Let's go home. This has been a good week. I'm ready. And look at that. The music just cuts out perfectly. This is the part where the game will determine whether or not the players has eliminated their rival. The game is still in development. I mean, I think we probably have. So now if we load from the last checkpoint, I think all of these guys will actually walk in. Isn't that just adorable, dude? These two guys sticking it out at the back, having a lovely conversation. Let's get a nice picture of that. I mean, look at that. No longer does she care about Senpai. I mean, Senpai might see these two together. She doesn't care, man. However... You know, what's a Yandere Simulator episode without killing someone, huh? Okay, we see these lovebirds at the back. Who do we get? We go and kill the other dude for giving us the cold shoulder. All right, so let's attack him right in front of Kokona. How do you feel? How do you feel, huh? She's running away. No! And oh my god, we're actually dodging. We were dodging the teacher and now. Now we've been, yeah. And there we have it, guys. So that has been Yandere Simulator. This one took me like nearly an hour and a half to do. I think the reward at the end of it, I guess, is more kind of you thinking, does this mean we can technically win Yandere Simulator this way? This update was really cool, though, and I'm glad I didn't have to kill anyone. Well, I technically, yeah, I didn't have to kill anyone, but, uh... I still did. <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.